So how do you find an idea? Is it the right idea? And how I can be sure that it'll work? So these are, now I'm going to get very practical on what I do with ideas. So how do you find an idea? Well, ideas are a lot like exercising. The more you play around with ideas and, and you write them down, uh, the better. You know, the quality of your ideas are actually going to improve. So you, you get your brain working. Start finding ideas everywhere. I mean, that's kind of the way I'm wired. I'm like, oh, shit, you know? In airports, it'd be really cool if on the walls they had advertisements that were chairs that folded down. Because I've noticed in San Francisco that people are always standing and they're always looking for seats. Would that be cool? It's a cool fucking idea. It'd work. Nobody's doing it. I'm not going to do it. But it was a cool idea. And I took it through a process that I'm going to take, take you through. So you need to find problems that need solving. So if you're in the environmental field or you're a cause-related oriented person, find a problem that needs solving that resonates. If you're a designer like I am, find a problem. If you're a, an athlete, stand-up paddle surfer, windsurfer, there's a little problem you know, with windsurfing harnesses that need to be fixed. It's a great problem to fix because you're passionate about it. Not so good for me. But find problems in the area that you're passionate about and if you can't, just do stuff that you love to do because the problems will come find you that you can solve if you're entrepreneurial. So write ideas down. Write as many, get, your, get as many ideas going as you can. And so this is how I evaluate an idea. This is a kind of a, a lead up into an executive summary. So when I get an idea, because I get so many ideas and I don't want to act on them or distract myself, I have this form that I fill out. And so I sit down and I answer these questions. And I literally just do it on my computer really quick. And the reason I do it is because if a few months later the idea comes back to itch me, then I'm like, oh, maybe I should pay attention to that. And if it, it come, then it comes back again, maybe I should pay attention to that. Maybe I should, so it's a good way to sort of like storehouse ideas. And also it's a good way to exercise your brain. So what, what's the idea? So let, we'll use um, anybody have a business they want to we'll put this through or idea for business they want to put this through? because I'm going to choose something really bad. Anybody? OK, great. Oval tennis balls, great. So what's the idea? Oval tennis balls. Does it solve a clear problem? Does it fix something that you feel is broke? Well, I feel like tennis is boring because the balls don't go sideways. I think it'd be more interesting <laughs> if when the balls hit the court, you didn't know which way they were going, right? Because I think that's really important. Because I, I love tennis, but it needs to be more exciting. Um, really, that's stupid. but. Um, who is it for? Ah, oh, that's a pretty small audience that wants to play tennis like that. Okay, do I really know the audience? Well, yeah, I guess I kind of do because I, I like tennis. It's best if you build, you know, it's best if you're solving a problem that you know you would use and, and you have to ask yourself, would I, really need, would I really need it? You know, what problem does it solve? How do I solve it? Right? So... We'll actually put this, let's use the chair, the airport chairs, because this, that tennis ball is a terrible example. Um, what's the idea? Air, chairs in airports against the wall that have advertising and then flop down. It's super space efficient so that people can sit when it's overcrowded. Okay, does it solve a clear problem? Does it fix something that feels broke? Yeah, I actually do feel it's broke. It pisses me off when I get off the airplane and people are crowded around because they have no place to sit. Um, do I, who is it for? Well, it's people at airports. Do I really know the audience? Yeah, I travel in airports. Um, okay, yeah, I would use it. And what problem does it solve? Solves people being overcrowded, not having a place to sit. So how do I solve it? Well, I would make chairs, or I would partner with a chair company, or, huh, God, and, and then I would have to probably partner with an advertising company to sell the space. And then how, how does it make money? Well, advertising. And are there competitors? Now, this point, I put an asterisk on, because I had so... It, I do it. So, you know, when you're, you're researching an idea, you're like, I got the greatest idea. Chairs in airports, right? And then you go online, you do the research. And you're like, God damn it, somebody else doing it. Ah, fuck it. I'm like, you, no, no, that's a great sign. There's a business. That's, that's what you're looking for. You want competitors. You want, I can't tell you how many times entrepreneurs I know including myself, are so tempted when you find competitors to shrink back. Oh, God. They beat me to it. Oh, man. Oh, there's 20 people in the space, right? 
How many times have you guys thought of an idea, went online, saw it online, saw somebody else doing it, saw him doing it really well, and saw like 10 other people doing it really well, right? Now, at a certain point in time, maybe you should take a clue, right? But that being said, you'd be surprised how much room there is in every market for competitors, for improvement, for doing it better. You don't know if those companies are making money. You don't know if they're hemorrhaging money. They, you don't know if you walked in, they would hand it to you and say, we just don't want to be in the business. We, this is not our core business. We don't, you know. You never know. Point is, is that when you find somebody who's a competitor in the space, the way I look at it, okay, good. Now, I have somebody to study. I, have re I can try to figure out what revenue they've got. They must see something, right? So uh, is what I'm doing different? Is there a twist? Well, mine were going to be a twist because I was going to make them out of rattan, and uh, everybody else is doing plastic. And why won't it work? Ask yourself the question, why won't it work? Well, it won't work because manufacturing the chairs are too expensive. Uh, maybe it won't work because the airports won't allow it. Maybe it won't work because people think it's bad advertising to put advertising under your butt. You know, I don't know. Come up with all the reasons why it won't work. Then what resources surround me? What people or relationships do I have in my network that might be, be good here? Oh, shit, my mom knows a chair guy. Well, I, I didn't, wow, okay, my mom. My mom's a great resource, by the way. Um, she's, uh, yeah, it's, it's incredible. And, and uh, I realized today, I was texting with a friend in New York, true story, and she works at Teen Vogue and is in charge of all their events, which is a perfect client for Social Stay. So I'm texting a good friend of mine, not really thinking. I'm like, your wife works at Teen Vogue and does all the events nationally and internationally, and she does it, right? She's like, yeah. I was like, you should be interested in that center, and all of a sudden, you know, I have a call with Condé Nast next week. Really simple, right? It's, in front, it's right in front of you. Everything's right in front of you. People are right in front of you. The resources are right in front of you. Once you start to focus your mind, you'd be surprised on who's around as a resource. And why does this resonate? Why does this fit me? I personally feel this is important because I think it's important to, to find things that are a fit. Where, where's my fit in here? So if I was going to do chairs in an airport, they would be gorgeous because desi it's design related, right? So that does fit. That's something I can get behind, right? I really hate the advertising sales part, though. That sucks. So I would go, okay, I probably need help with that part. Um, so that's a cool little, that's, that's my self-evaluation of ideas, how I go through it. And then I have, I have a folder on my computer. I have probably 40 or 50 of them. I have a train that I had a train idea that there should be this train that does this, this, and this. And then I had a... Uh, Agriturismo Resort, which would bring, bring in the idea from Italy. And then I have technology ideas. I have, it just, my brain goes, you know, but it's a great exercise.